Hey guys, I have to tell you, I'm not 100% comfortable with what's about to go down in this episode. Uh, this is out of the box for me, but what a way to launch our first episode of Do It Yourself Wellness Doc. My name is Dr. Eric Duncan, and I created this channel to show you tips and tricks and products to improve your physical, mental, and overall well being. So here we go. I said in the intro that I'm not really comfortable with what's about to go down today. And the reason for that is, you know, there's a lot of pressure out there with your daily routine or your morning routine or someone's evening routine. And my goodness, I don't even know what a routine was. So I wanna give you two daily habits that you can do every single day and it takes less than 15 minutes. Do you have to do these habits in order to be mentally, physically, healthy and have overall well-being? No, but I strongly recommend you do. So habit number one is called gratitude time. And what you'll do is every morning, you are going to think of things that you're thankful for or you're grateful for. Now, I know this may seem crunchy. I don't know what it seems like. But if you think about it, Tony Robbins said, a personal development uh, speaker said, if you feel gratitude, it is nearly impossible, let's just say impossible, to feel any other negative feelings. Let's say you're sad or you're feeling down or you're feeling lonely recently just because of what's been going on or you're frustrated because you've lost friends on social media or you have a different political opinion and it's broken up part of your family. If you are grateful for things, it is impossible to feel fear. It is impossible to feel uh, self-pity. It is impossible to feel depression. Now, you're not able to keep in this state all day long, but what if you could visit it and tap into it throughout the day or start your day in the morning, uh, which is what I like to do. So what I do is the first five minutes of every morning, I like to have a time to be grateful. Now, this time can be used in to pray and being grateful for things and be grateful and say thank you to the Lord for that. It can be something inside of you and be grateful and just thankful for what you have. Now, don't you dare, don't you dare think to yourself, I have nothing to be grateful for because that probably is not true. Now, there's different things you can be grateful for. It can be simple little things, the flavor of food that you just had, the experience you've had at a takeout restaurant. Uh, you can have you know, a relationship that you've started, a relationship that ended. You can be grateful for because you're not being shackled by that relationship anymore. So really focus and look for the things positive in your life. A phone call, you know, a bunch of money you just got in the mail and was a surprise to you. Every day you should be thankful for something and we're gonna do this together. Now you know what I, why I'm uncomfortable. I don't want to do this, but since I know how helpful this has been in my life and how helpful it's been in so many other people's lives, we're going to walk you through this step by step. So look around. If you're watching this and nobody's watching you, I encourage you to do this exercise with us. Do it today, put it off till tomorrow if you want, if you're a procrastinator, like I am, but I say do it now because who knew that you would land on this YouTube video today and do something that you quite possibly have never done before. So there's a reason why you're watching this video right now. So what I want you to do, if there's no one around, if there's people around looking, it's your choice if you wanna do that. So what I ask you to do is focus on this video and we will get some good music going that will help us feel grateful. So, something like that. Okay. All right, feeling good already, right? It gets better. Now we'll dim the lights. So it's just you and my voice. And I don't have a motivational speaker voice. I am not looking to be your guru. I actually talk like this most of the time, pretty monotone. But for this video, I want to inspire you to do this and I will walk you through step by step. We're only gonna do it 
two, maybe three minutes. We're gonna focus on our breathing because focusing on your breathing is another great habit you can integrate into your day. So let's do this. Let's dim the lights. All right, you can sit in whatever position you want right now. If you're seated, sit back and get comfortable. If you can lay down on your back, do that. If you wanna stand up, bring your shoulders back and look up. Do what feels natural at this point. But don't worry about what anyone else is thinking right now. Don't worry about you and your thoughts. Don't worry about anything what anyone else will think. This is your time. This day could have been difficult for you. This day could just be getting started for you. But you're just going to focus on your breath. So what I want you to do is breathe in for four seconds, hold your breath for four seconds, and breathe out for four seconds. So it'll go like this. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Now let's bring in some things we are grateful for today. As you breathe in, I want you to think of what happened yesterday. Just pick one thing. It made your day. It made that second. The person you talk to doesn't know how important that conversation was. But that's the conversation you needed right then, at that time. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Think about your family. If you have great relationships in your family, I want you to think how wonderful it is to see them how wonderful it was to see them, and how grateful you are that you have them in your life, or you had them in your life, because they're not with us now, it does not lessen that relationship. It just carries on through who you are. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. As you breathe in, I want you to just feel like you're filling your body with just an enormous amount of energy and focusing on just the positive that's happened to you. And you're just filling your body from the toes all the way up to your head as you breathe in. I want you to hold it in. It's gonna go right back down. Flow right out of your body. And you're gonna bring in another thing to be grateful for. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out. How do you feel? Energized, grateful. You know how long we did that for? Just a couple of minutes, a few minutes maybe. But what if you started every single day with that habit? One habit, if you develop one habit, other habits follow right behind. It's called a keystone habit. And if you can make something and integrate it into your day, then other positive habits will follow. Now, you notice I don't ever say you don't have to start your day this way because some people aren't morning people. I'm a morning person. I start at 4 a.m. typically every single day. But you can also do this at midday if you're having a stressful day. Put everything to the side. Remember, if you think about things you're grateful for, 
you have no other room to feel any negative emotion. If you're a night person and you want to end your day this way, it's a great thing to do before you go to sleep at night and do it in less than three or four minutes. If you can go five minutes, that's great too. But don't eat up your time in morning doing gratitude journals and writing your morning pages and doing your meditation and exercising. And if that works for you, that's great, but you don't have to be that person. So that's habit number one, is have the habit of being grateful. So what's the number two daily habit that you can do? That, I'll let you uh, guess what it is, but I'll give you a hint. It's getting outside every day and going for a walk. It's not a huge commitment to do that kind of thing. You know, it's 10 minutes of your time, but there's so many benefits by just getting outside. And look at, look around me. This is not Florida. This is not the sunshine state. I'm not sure if that's Florida. Is Florida the sunshine? California. But regardless, this is what you need to do every day. You can breathe the fresh air and you can do whatever you want. It doesn't take a lot of time. It takes about 10 minutes to do this. So while you're walking, you can listen to audiobooks. You can, you know, call a friend. You can talk to a family member you haven't talked to for a long time. There's so many options, but that is what I recommend for the second daily habit is just get outside and go for a walk. Usually I recommend for people if they don't want to drain too much of their time is just about 10 minutes. And if you do 10 minutes of your walk and you do five minutes of just getting grateful, then you're going to find that your day will start or end or you'll have a nice break to the day every single day. And that is one of my tips for better habits. So we're going to walk down the lake here. I'm sorry if it's a windy day because it is bad weather here in Michigan and you'll see some dogs and neighbors on a walk too. So we're almost down to the lake here. i am only been walking for a few minutes actually, and it's chilly as can be, but we're gonna show you how you can just go down and spend some time by yourself and go for this fabulous walk. Check it out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And also, if you happen to go on a walk, please take a picture and put it in the comment section below because I wanna see beautiful sunny places and not the overcast of Michigan. And I think self-care should be done by yourself. We'll talk soon.